What's up gang? In this video today I want to go over this repair I had recently that I actually got stuck on and how I fixed it was uh, just a generic off the shelf part from Amazon or China or wherever you want to say. Um, so this is the game wasn't a game it was actually one of the kitty rides like you would see outside the grocery store or Walmart or something like that. It was a uh, I think Fantasy Teacups by Baron Games. And this is their actual uh, replacement control box that you can buy from them. The other one was older and it actually plugs into some metal pins in the back like the original did. This is this one went bad in the game and we got a replacement one. It was just like it. I can't remember exactly how much this box cost for replacement, but it's like five or six hundred dollars. It, it's definitely pricey. So I had this old one. And I had a new one just like it, but um, the other techs that had worked there had been using it and trying to get it to wire in. And we did not have the uh, pin out for this or any kind of wiring diagram that was current. So I didn't really know if the other one worked either. As far as I know, they were both, you know, had the same problem. But I definitely marked this one. But what, like I said, uh, I, I tried wiring it, tried doing this, tried doing that. I'm not even going to go through all, all the bs that i went through with that um i ended up buying this off of amazon and it is let me read it off the list because it's a little wordy it is a 12 volt dc programmable time delay relay module so what it does is i think this side this side over here is the dc so you have your power from your power supply coming in here and then this one up here is your trigger. And then you time how long, you know, you want it to delay on or delay off. And like for this game, I think I had a delay on for five seconds. So you would coin it up. It would trigger here. It would wait, count down five seconds. And then it would trigger this relay. And then this relay would trigger this, of which I had uh, AC voltage going here. So I could use 12 volts to go through here, trigger the relay and get dc or get ac voltage to work which is kind of nifty but uh, let's see everything worked the uh, the problem with the game was is you could coin it up and it would spin the teacups around forever it just never would stop and you know went through everything in the world and, and was it this was that and i think really what the the problem with this was is i think it had fallen down in the inside of the game and uh, fallen down trying to fix it and rewire it. Is this thing on here? Let me see. I think I can get it off. Yeah, here we go. And I just couldn't trust the wiring on it. And with no wiring diagram, it really, it just was just too much to figure out. I wrote my own diagram down to what I thought it was, wired that up, and I was close. But I just couldn't get it. It was taking too much time. So this guy was... Uh, $9 for one, or it was like two of them for $15. And this here is the sound portion of the board, which this whole time I didn't even consider that. This is a one channel, and I really should have got a two channel uh, for an extra channel for the sound, but I would have figured out, and I could have figured out an easy way to get it going. But over here on this side, make sure you guys can see it. On this side, a, a cable came in, and that was from the, the coin mech. Aside from that, these things, they don't really have anything in them. There's some lights, some sound, speakers. Your, your sound's coming in here, too. But this is your basic, your, you know, your board, your motherboard, your brain. It, it doesn't have an arcade PCB in it. It's just a, a, a coin control, timer control. It's also, a, you know, the music control, all, all kind of wrapped in one. And, but it would come in here and it would hit one of these relays, probably this big guy over here. And uh, that would cause it to play the music, which was in this SD card right here. And I think this is the timer itself. Oh, no, no, no. I, I take that back. That is voltage change. But it's the timer is in this circuit. And it would go and it would go and it would go. So... This guy, I thought, was going to be our option. Now, this this is still going to be kind of like a endurance test. I don't know how long this is going to last, being apart from China and, you know, just being a generic part and not for this 
particular application, but it did say it was for um, commercial use with the AC voltage going through it. So let's just go ahead, since we don't have the ride here, let me just build a mock-up circuit. We'll use this to uh, delay a timer to turn on a lamp, or I'll find something that we can wire in. And then that way uh, I can explain to you how this thing works and how it worked in the circuit for the repair. Whether this thing will work for 10 years or, or two weeks, that I don't know. But it did have pretty bad reviews on online, and it was mostly because people didn't know how to program it, and it didn't come with any instructions, but they were online. I don't know why people can't Google. But I'll show you how to, how to work this. It's not very difficult. If you programmed an 80s VCR, you've worked something more difficult than this. But uh, let me grab some stuff. I'll set this up, and we'll, we'll uh, work a circuit. This is my basic plan for it. So we're going to have power coming in over here to this power supply. This is going to be the main power supply. Then that's going to run our DC voltage that controls the board here. Runs to our uh, switch that's going to activate it. And then this will hit the... Um, yeah, Willow. This will hit the relay. That will turn our relay on and then we'll run AC to this power supply which we can run whatever we want off of that. But I chose this little uh, Mario lamp. I don't know if you can see. Kind of. There's a, a Mario etching on there that kind of lights up. So it'll go through. We hit the button. It'll activate the um, relay and the timer. Uh, I have the... Well, I haven't haven't set it yet, but the way I have it set up for the uh, the ride and how we'll do it here is... It is delayed just for just a couple seconds um, before it starts, and then it'll hit the relay, and then it has a time, what however long you want, that it actually operates, and then it shuts off until the next time it's actuated again, which this is going to kind of mimic the, the coin mech. So let me go over this. Let me take this off here. So this is the... This is the 12 volts DC coming in here. So this yellow one here is 12 volts in. Then we have a ground in the same terminal here, this bottom one. And that is DC positive. DC negative, we have the ground coming in. And then this one is our other one for the switch, which is our trigger. And... For this one, it triggers with a high voltage. This is supplied by the board, so you don't have to worry about that as long as you plug into that top one. So here at the bottom, we have 12 volts, the ground for our um, trigger or our button. The middle terminal is going to be just ground from the power supply. The top one is going to be the trigger to our button or whatever we're using to trigger it. And so let's go ahead and hook the button up here. That one, and this one I'm going to use on the ground. And then I have these other wires coming from it. I just have crimp terminals plugged into the spot on there. i got to fix this ground wire came out. It's not a big deal, though. Okay, so that's the right side. Now, the left side is the AC. And what I'm doing here is um, I'm running the AC to power up this. And then I have off of that same AC, I just ran a little outlet so that I can plug a wall wart in to run this. It's easier. Um, but we, once you get this thing started up, you can pretty much run whatever you want off of it. So um, this is going to come like this. Then we're going to use this plug-in which is the AC line for that so the um, neutral can just go straight over to your plug which on this thing is going to be white even though my wire is black I have the wires backwards and we can plug this into the board we're going to plug these in these top two spots here so it'll be under 
normally open and common. Put this guy in here. And this is the top one. The top one I think is, yeah, the top one is line. Well, really, these will all be line, but it'll, uh, the line comes into the board here and then comes out there. And then this one will come to the middle to catch that signal. And then it's plugged into the line board on the power supply. So this thing just basically is just in the middle of our line from the AC to the from the power from the main power supply to our secondary power supply. That way when it triggers it connects it, grounds it, and it's closed. Right now it's normally open. Okay. So let me uh take a break just for a second. I'm going to uh get this um second wire or this extra ground wire hooked up and then we will test it and make sure it works. Okay, to recap, we're going to have our power coming through the power supply, powering the relay timer board. Then once it's activated, it's going to go and power the power supply, which we can use to power whatever we want for however long this is programmed. <clears throat> so I just want to run through, make sure it works real fast before we actually look real close at the wiring. And uh, we'll jump back to that in just a second if everything works out fine which I, I expect it will. Okay. And see now it's it, it comes on when I'm firing it up like this. You can have it come on with the display on or you can have it come on with the display off. It will just have a power button. Just however you want to program it. And you always want to make sure you are looking at the proper mo uh, manual and it is online. Okay, so let's go ahead and hit our trigger. And our light. Nice. It's a me. Please spread. I pretend to be other people because I don't attack myself. Ooh. Mario claps back at Chris Pratt. Rough. But everything seems to work all right. Um, we have the lights lit. Should go off here in about four seconds. And that powers down our light and the little soundboard I put over there. So we could also add to the power supply, we could add like a little motor to spin it. We could add some lighting to light it up, even though we don't really need it. It's kind of self-lit, but it's kind of like the basics of a uh, uh, Halloween attraction. All we would have to do is, like I said, put whatever we want hooked up to that power supply. As long as we're running the AC power through one of these programmable relays, we switch this trigger here instead of a button we put a motion activated sensor or like a, a pressure sensor that somebody would step on like on a mat or something and there you go i mean obviously we don't have your wires all like this but uh let me get this zoomed in a little bit better the lights on and uh we'll take a look at the wiring so i just want to go over this left side again the um, power coming in from your power supply goes to the top uh, terminal and the one that goes to your power supply goes in the middle terminal and the one at the very bottom is empty. Okay, so to program it, it should come on and it'll be like this. You want to look at your manual and see uh, what mode you want to have it on. I chose 13 for this one because it's, uh, it's you, we use a trigger we uh, have a delay on and a delay off, so that way I was using all three of those. But to set it, you want to hold down. The, the buttons are set, switch, and then number up and number down. So long press on the set, and then you want to put in whatever uh, number you want. If you need to switch numbers here, it's this button here. And then move on to the next one. This is how much time, or T1, uh, so sometimes you have to look at the manual. T1 is in, in different spots. Sometimes it's your timer on, timer off. Um, this is in like 
tenths of a second or something like that. So basically this is 2.25 seconds. And it goes real, real fast. So it's it, just a barely a delay at all. And then we'll switch it again. All right. Yeah, this one, the switch runs through your numbers. And you can actually move where this decimal point is, too, at the end. So you don't have to have a 2.25. Um, the number up is here, and number down is there. And the left, all the way on the left, switches to the next one. And you can see on your blue light, it'll move down. You have mode, T1, T2, and then that's where your the very last one is your decimal point. So this is our second one. This is in literal seconds, so it's 25 seconds while it's on. T2 is in seconds, or the, the second one here. And same way you can... Uh, that one goes up the numbers, that one goes down the numbers, and your switch one moves it back and forth, and then program button or set button switches you here. This is the very last LED, blue LED on the right, and this is where you would set your uh, your um, decimal point. And I don't I don't worry about it because I'm, I don't need I don't need a really long uh, time frame on this. That's basically all it is. It's pretty simple. It's pretty handy, though. There are lots of different things you can do with it. So uh, use your imagination. I mean, instead of this, you can have uh, lots of different kinds of sensors and switches to set it off. You could have audio. You could have uh, light, sound. And you can put whatever sound you want on a little soundboard like that. That little soundboard is just a... Uh, one of those ones that you use to do custom greeting cards. I got it off Amazon for like 20 bucks. There you go. I will uh, be back again with another video and hopefully do more stuff like this. I like to like build this random stuff. I want to build a uh, a home uh, home defense system like Kevin made from Home Alone. <laughs> All right, I'll see you guys on the next one. So these two right here are going to be ground and five volt. So what do we get here? Did I not turn the game on? I didn't turn the game on. I guess that would help. Hang on. Here it is. A nice little trade. The person I traded got what they wanted. I got what I wanted. And a pretty good deal on it too. What if I didn't get what I want? <laughs> <laughs> that comes later. Yeah. Okay. It's, it's, it's on fire. What happened? Whoa. Lots of smoke. Well, that's bad. Yeah, well, thanks for watching. <laughs> when you take care of people, people take care of you in this community. That's the truth. So, everyone, please remember that. Even if we're competitors, we're not enemies.